I'm one of those people who used to absolutely adore Adam Sandler's work. I've kind of run out of his slightly juvenile comedy style. It's, you know, he's still a brilliant actor, but not necessarily to my taste anymore. But Bedtime Stories is one of his films that I don't think, I don't think it will ever grow old. I adore this. I love the premise. I love the execution. I think it's beautiful. It was first released in 2008. Uh, I did see it in the cinema, I think just once. There are only a small handful of films that I've seen twice in the cinema. I don't believe this is one of them. I'm directed by Adam Shankman, screenplay by Tim Hurley and Matt Lopez, and stars, of course, of course Adam Sandler, as well as Kerry Russell and Courtney Cox, Guy Pearce, Russell Brand, Richard Griffiths. It's got an absolutely fantastic cast. Jonathan Price, Carmen Electra. Need I go on? I probably could go on further, actually, to be perfectly honest. It's it's absolutely brilliant. But it is the premise that, for me, makes this fabulous fun. I'll read the description from IMDb, which I think sums it up quite nicely without really giving away, well, anything, really. And this is as follows. A hotel handyman's life changes when the lavish bedtime stories he tells his niece and nephew start to magically come to life. That's pretty self-explanatory. Our protagonist, uh, Skeeter Bronson, played by Adam Sandler, tells his niece and nephew these bedtime stories. He has a fantastic imagination. They're very creative. Some are set in the past. Some have some kind of fantastical sci-fi elements to them. And then he finds that they begin to actually happen. And that's brilliant for two reasons. The first thing is, what bedtime story will he tell next? Just how far will he go with these? And the other thing is wondering how they're going to incorporate it into the narrative. Because some things are kind of easy. Uh, you know, there are certain things that I think are pretty straightforward for them to incorporate into his daily life. And then there are some things that would definitely raise eyebrows and make people question things. And I love it. I love that edge of your seat excitement not knowing how they're going to pull it off or how they're going to make it believable in a way that it could be believable if you know what I mean I adore it I think the premise is very exciting it's very interesting I think it's got wide appeal it is rated PG so you know we're looking at pretty much everybody if you like fun fantasy films with a decent really decent cast fantastic special effects and a brilliant execution of what really promised to be a very exciting narrative Bedtime Stories is, without question, going to be one that you are going to absolutely love.